Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second video today from two different people about flames. And this is the word she wants to use, or they want to use. And they actually found a font called Blaze on dafonts.com, but she she wants the, the the flame going to the right, and I inadvertently made one as an example, but it's going to the left. So for the video, I'm going to make this go to the right. And I've explained to her, you're going to have to have a little space. So this is impact. And then I just took the shape tool and just expanded it out a little bit, uh, depending on what look you want. This really looked pretty cool uh, the way I did it. Uh, you could do it with or without these, but this would uh, look pretty cool. So we're just going to do another one real quick. Uh, I'm going to left click, right click, and get a hairline. I'm going to right, left click, right click, or you know, right click on hairline. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to convert it to curves because you almost have to do that to do this. Now I made the font, or I'm going to make the font, let's say 0.75 tall. I'm going to make my flame 0.75. So now they're, I must have messed that up, 0.75. So now my font and my flames are both 0.75 to make it a little easier. Then just take and grab that and, and like the D is going to be a little bit harder um, because of that rounded surface on the D. So what I would do is, let's go control D and make a duplicate of that flame, move it out of the way, take your shape tool, and let's just make this flame go up in there and maybe even take that one away. And um, take a couple of nodes away to get it out of that way. Now we're going to take our second one, and we're going to grab it and we're going to put it right there and you can see there we're a little bit below so we're going to control d and make another copy it's actually easier going the opposite direction i've just realized because of the fact that uh, you don't have this much curve and she might be or they might be using a font that is a little bit uh, different and it's almost easier to do it with the nodes. I would take both these nodes and bring them down to that line. And just bear with me for a second while I do a couple more letters. Control D, let's get a duplicate. The, the A will be pretty easy. And you can see we've got some of the flames going into the uh, next letter. And that's not a bad thing. And if you have snap to it, it should snap to right to that line. And if you notice, we did that one good. Well, let's grab that with the pick tool on that corner, and it should snap to that corner. Control D, move this one over to the I. Grab in that corner, it should snap to that corner. I don't have the edge. I have to zoom in here. Bear with me. And then one more letter, or two more letters. Control D. Move it over. And there's the same thing with this R. Let's move the shape tool. And just take these two nodes and just bring them up. And then one more. And I, I'm not taking my time to figure out if I'm even uh, with everything but in just one second we'll this will be a finished project I need to go ahead and delete that node and just play around and remember this is going to be your now take your virtual segment delete key which is why you had to convert them to curve so you could do this we're going to have to go back and take out some more of these other lines. 
I'm getting the main lines first. Whoop, went too far on that. Back up. Let's go back to the D. And, and this is a lot easier in the other direction because you don't have all these curved lines. And this is almost necessary to delete these lines. And you probably wouldn't have to delete the ones that are inside the flame. But the ones that are, I'm going to have to zoom in. And I'll probably just, for the video, I'll probably just do the one letter save you time of having to watch but you'll get the idea so what you're doing you're creating um, an area that you can smart feel and it does a pretty cool effect and really I need to no I don't so I'm just going to do one letter and you'll get the idea then take your KR I'm going to set up my nudge factor, nudge distance of one inch. I'm going to take the smart fill tool and fill that in and nudge it down. Now, I didn't break the, the part from the R apart, but you can see the flames actually go into the next letters, which would be kind of a cool effect. And if you want to stay tuned for just a second, we'll, we will, I'll do one more letter. virtual segment delete key and all you're doing is deleting the line so the smart fill can fill did it again this is where the zoom and the pan tool would really help you almost there I'm not, I'm still not used to this laptop. Now let's fill in these two letters, the D and the R, and you're going to get that effect. Now, it's kind of hard to see that it's actually an R uh, going this direction. You might have to play around with that and maybe not put as much flame into it and uh, just kind of work with that anyway so she found a font that does it to the left but she wants it to the right so you're just going to have to manually do it doesn't take that long anyway i hope that helped them and thank you for watching